Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. Safety in Formula One starts with the monocoque. It's the one indestructible part of the car. In 1962, the first monocoque was built out of aluminium. Over the next 20 years, the design and the material has kept evolving all the time as experts experimented with ways to make it stronger and safer. In 1982, the first ever carbon fiber monocoque was introduced to Formula One. Interestingly, uh, the production procedure wasn't standardized at that moment, so it was the aircraft industry that actually built carbon fiber monocoque for Formula One teams. Today, um, every team builds their own monocoque to their strictest specification. Uh, we designed them to exactly fit the size of our drivers because uh, for aerodynamic reasons, we want them to be as narrow as possible. In the past, uh, teams have made a monocoque very, very tight around their driver so they had to add extra bulges to fit the driver's elbows. The core of the monocoque is our safety cell. It's hugely strong thanks to the composite carbon material. The rest of the car is designed to crumble uh, or even break off around it in an accident. It is really fascinating to see how constant this curve is over a longer period of time. These are almost 100 milliseconds. At the end, we can see a little peak due to the fact that the nose is getting wider. Because of its light crash structure, a constant deceleration is possible. As a consequence, the body of the driver is put under less stress during the impact. To check all of this works, the FIA imposes crash testing rules that all teams must pass. Today, the drivers often walk away from an accident with only a concussion, thanks to the strength of the monocoque. And there's also been one small but significant change in the rules to improve safety around the driver's head. We have had the eye cockpit the sides to protect the driver for a while, but the helmet is still out in the open air. As uh, the car noses uh, started to get uh, higher higher in these last uh, few years uh, than uh, chassis uh, side, that presented a problem. In a side on collision, that meant the nose was high enough to intrude into the cockpit itself. This year, regulation has changed and teams uh, have been forced to lower uh, the nose so now, if there is a side impact, the nose um, stays underneath the cockpit rim and will hit the side wall of the chassis and protect the driver. It's just a 10 centimeter difference, but this one small change represents yet another important step forward in driver safety. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.